Our second uh, new talent is Abderazak Karoubi. Uh, he presents mapping change using 3D point clouds. Abderazak is currently a PhD a candidate at the Geomatic Unit of the University of Liège. Uh, his research is financed by FNRS Aspirant Grant from Fonds de la Recherche Scientifique and is focused on the automatic processing and structuration of 3D point clouds for 3D change mapping application. The floor is yours. Thank you for the kind presentation, introduction. Thank you to the audience for being here and uh, Thank you for the organizer to, to, for this opportunity to present my ongoing PhD uh, thesis. So, uh, as we navigate in a spatial temporal world, uh, everything in the surface of Earth is continuously changing. This change can range from a slow change, which, which make long-term changes, or a fast change, change which make short-term changes. Every event in the surface of Earth have a different magnitude, velocity, and frequency. So an automatic change detection is of general interest for monitoring dynamic process, which can show a, a confusing situation for a human observer. For example, uh, some phenomena take a lot of years to be uh, visible for the human. As we, see, as, as we have seen today for, uh, in several presentation, we have more and more satellite uh, optical images or in some radar uh, images. So we can create a time series of images to, 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 to make visible the, the chance over time. Using these images, we can today create time series for every pixel to show the trend of changes, which make possible to predict some evolution or, or trend in the future. But why we will talk about 3D point cloud? As the same way for images, today we have more and more LIDAR uh, point cloud in the at the country scale. For example, in the Netherlands, uh, there is the H -E -H N lidar dataset. For the French, will be available the H D lidar. So it is important to 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 tackle this problem. But the major advantage of using three D data over two D images for change detection are three. The first one is that point cloud are insensitive to elimination difference. So comparison of geometry of bitemporal or multi-temporal data is irrespective of elimination condition. The second advantage is that point cloud are insensitive to perspective distortion in 2D change detection. So the comparison of geometry can, perform, can be performed in a true dimension and a true 3D dimensional space, space or in a projected space. The third advantage is that 3D point cloud have the volume information. So the 3D change detection provide volumetric change and so more application like calculating the, the biomass or the volume of a biomass in a forest area or the volume of a damaged area. And also because we have today more and more acquisition of LIDAR data over time. And also we have the near continuous laser scanning, for example, a terrestrial laser scanning that is fixed in a position and take every time several acquisition. But using 3D point cloud is not an easy task because of the challenge related to using point cloud. The first one is that in contrast to images, 3D point cloud are irregular and in order and also unstructured. 
So print cloud don't have like images, a fixed grid or fixed position like pixels. And also because for print cloud, there is no direct compar comparison between each point. So for example, for images, we can compare each pixel to, uh, to other one, but for point cloud, there is no possible way. For change reduction, there are several methods that we can class in three types, pre-classification, post-classification, and single set. The first one is that uh, is where we are not uh, interested to create semantic OBN to make classification of the point cloud. So we just compare the two point cloud over time. The second one is post-classification. And the third one is the single step. Uh, is coming a paper where I make a critical review of the existing method and also the, the existing data set and metric. So in my, in my PhD thesis, the major problem or the major objective is to, to, to detect the change that matters. So we essentially, we, uh, we search to minimize chance due to the characteristic that we are not interested in in order to identify change that we are interested in and also by using an approach of uh, estimating uncertainty over all the process. And the second objective is automatic point cloud traded change detection using prior semantic segmentation. So we start by classification of the point cloud in several time and we compare the point cloud each one to other to have the change detection. So it is a, uh, an object-based change detection approach and also a delineation of different approach. So because change don't occur in the uh, all space, we have restricted space where change occur. We start by using a global approach to just estimate where change are occurred. And so we, uh, and the, and uh, uh, we enter in some detail and another level of detail to detect the object level. Thank you for uh, your attention. That's all for my presentation. Thank you, Abderazak, for your work. Looking forward to your uh, future outputs. Um,